non PGR looking fool. Let's go, Paladin. <laughs> You're like non PGR looking fool over here. Yeah. Uh, of course, you have this turn. Uh, all, you know, all jokes aside, he's getting a lot better at this game. Yeah, very most quickly. definitely. Uh, he, it, it took him a little bit longer than some to adapt to the way this game works, I think. Yeah. And, and he lost up tilt at the ledge. <laughs> which, is, which is, let's be honest, guys, that's all Larry did. Yeah. Before. He, he up tilted you at the ledge and took like 80 damage. Uh, can't do that anymore. Yeah. So uh, now he plays Wolf, and now he forward tilts you at the ledge. <laughs> and you either die or you take damage. <laughs> you set yourself in edge. Good yeah, exactly. way for to see how Velina went. So Velina is kind of used to fighting Charlie, uh, usually a hat. And now to see him fight against Larry, he's going to be a little bit different here. 99% to 13. Yeah, already looking kind of rough. 100 I mean, 100% uh, difference right now in the damage. Larry just, I mean, this is where Larry excels. He just excels at the ledge, and he keeps you there for so long. That, all of that damage is not combo. It's, yeah. It's legitimately just reading your ledge option, reacting to it. And uh, punching accordingly. Yeah, the thing about Wolf too is that his damage is very snowball like. Like, yeah. it does already have a lot of percent, but it, the knockback starts to slowly take its place after the percent's gone. Well, Adam finally uh, got a little bit started there. 57. Not too bad, especially on the scene. You know, this you, get, you get a forward smash at the ledge or something, you gotta take an early stock. Like, Lucina doesn't need too much more to where the percents don't matter. But as I say that, Larry gets the dash attack and uh, comes up the first stock. Nice, really good up. You got a shield there. This is being Larry's approaching with neutral air. Dash attack. Can he get a tech chase? Here, let's get the forward so. tilt. I like that from the lion too. He's safe that he knows. Okay, hold up. I can actually get away from this. No tech chase down tilt for the lion either. Yeah, that's a big deal. You got to capitalize when you, uh, especially when you get an opening on, you know, a player of Larry's caliber right there. That jump was kind of ill advised because, like, you get the down tilt, he misses the tech. If you mm -hmm. jump onto the platform, it doesn't matter what Larry does, you can't punish him. Yeah, you cannot punish him. He went the extra mile a little bit too far. Right, I think he was just thinking a little too hard there. When you can just like pick a roll option and you know try to get a four time. Oh the no, that the laser. Blaster. That is such a bummer of a laser to get hit by. Yeah. <laughs> but a uh, whole stock lead now for Larry, who I am not biased towards whatsoever. It's okay, man. So it's only the guy who used to live here for like four years, four or five years. It's no big deal, right? <laughs> Hate him. Hope he doesn't win. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys a really funny story, man. I'm not gonna lie. You two used to eliminate each other on Mafia. Oh <laughs> in the old, God, the old days. Oh my God. You, you, we could not put you and Larry in the same team in Mafia. That's yeah, fact. You know what's funny though is, is like one of us would die and then the other one would die immediately. Yeah. Me and Larry never get to play Mafia. <laughs> we always die first. It was not fair. Uh, we'll see who's going to die here at this opportunity here, because I know Larry did not die for Valadin. No, he did not. <laughs> he definitely called out that Valadin was Mafia and lasered him and shot him with his vigilante shot and killed him at like 5%. Yeah, meanwhile, really Valadin happens to be Mafia here. He wants to make sure he feels the loss of the sheep. I feel like Valadin is coming in with a lot of uh, nares too. And honestly, if Larry just sits in shield for one more nair, he can up smash out of shield, yeah. and, and that's game. Valadin has to be very careful with how he approaches at this percent. Oh, good whip punish here. Anticipating the aggressive play from Larry yeah. at the ledge. I feel like the nares are really good when you're at a low percent. See, that nair is scary. Like, yeah. if you drift too far in, oh, I'm getting so scared. I know it's going to happen. Larry with signs of respect here. He sees Valadin's one of the team, doesn't matter. He knows one backer can do it, yeah. but Valadin has op opportunities to take that 32% into even the whole stock. I think Larry is uh, one of like one of his biggest strengths. Uh, nice forward tilt, but one of his biggest strengths is that he doesn't really change the way he's playing based on whether he's winning or losing. Yeah. He's really consistent with his play style. And like even in this situation, like a lot of you know lower level players would be fishing for like smash attacks or back airs like the war. But he's playing exactly the same way that he played at the beginning of the game. Yeah. He's always keen to play neutral first yeah, before exactly. he can like do anything else. Like, Good wait on the fourth. Yeah, he doesn't have to guess. He's just reacting. <laughs> I've seen this critical hit you know, happen like this is the fourth time. Okay, finally let's have this. I'll never forget. I was like playing friendlies with him one day. And he just kept I don't know. He kept winning neutral like over and over and over, right? I couldn't I couldn't do anything. And I was just like, man. How do you do this? Like, what do you legitimately think about the whole time you're playing? Like, I'm just gonna give you and all he said, he, he's always given the most simple advice, <laughs> but literally all he said was, the only thing that ever goes through my head when I play this game is, I think they're gonna do this, so I'll do this. And he's just right. He's like, he's just <laughs> right the funny thing about so Larry. much. <laughs> Larry is a simple man. He's so simple, dude. He's so simple. It's like, I, if you guys have never met Larry in person, <laughs> he's so he's, simple. he'll give you the shortest sentences, yeah, the does. smallest <laughs> words possible. He's a genius. I wonder he's how like, he actually, talks to his girlfriend. Like, <laughs> like, oh my god, I don't, I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> like, I wonder how, 
She must really love him, man. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, 75% Vladimir loves Wolf's back here at this yeah. point. Vladimir is doing this, so Larry's doing this. And it's working. Oh. All right, ill-advised dash attack, but he got away with it. Vlad not really reacting in time to get a shield grab. Oh, nice. Oh, fortunately, though, like you said, right, yeah. he sees the dash attack, no reaction, but he rolls away. I feel like Vladimir's thought process there is get away from the ledge as soon as fast as possible. I feel like a lot of fighting Wolf is waiting for them to kind of commit to something that wasn't completely safe, because Wolf has the ability to play pretty safe. Himself, yeah, he does. Uh, with, like, fadeaway fairs and theirs. <laughs> But the, <laughs> oh my god! But the second, the second that he like drifts too close into your shield, or you know, he full hops a bit too much or something, you really need to capitalize because, especially when you're playing someone like Larry, who like, like you said, he plays neutral. Like yeah. He just plays neutral over and over and over. That's kind of what separates Larry and Charlie in terms of the two best works in Silk Out. Is that Charlie's punish game is pristine. Oh, it's it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's the most. Like the most broken punish game we've ever seen, but Larry's neutral and his ability to play within it is just unprecedented to a lot of players. So like, Aladdin is really trying to get a grasp of like how Larry's neutral is towards him. You know what's weird about that is in Smash Four when Larry played Fox, he did not play neutral. He ran at you and he down air, and then he then he had like a crazy punish game. But one thing he would do randomly is like down tilt, tip or down tilt to do something else. Yeah, and it. Charlie actually had the more neutral base with the like perfect pivots and stuff. So it's really weird to see them like totally roll reverse now, and Larry's just like all neutral and some combos, and, and Charlie just like demolishes your stock if you mess up one time. Yeah, and it was funny too because Volume One of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, like Larry and Charlie struggled. Now we're here in Volume Two yeah. here, and now. They are very, they're becoming a very, very dominant threat. Charlie getting nine fat genesis, and Larry yeah. now coming back to where he used to be. Larry just uh, absolutely putting on a clinic for this matchup, too. Just like stay right outside of Lucina's sword range, make them do an unsafe option. Oh, and he almost got a force match, too. Yeah. Like you said, Valadin uh, fights Charlie a lot, right? Yeah. They're, so they're very different wolves, so <laughs> it's, it's probably kind of jarring to uh, not have something happen the way that Charlie would normally do it. Yeah, normally Valana would be the one here trying to control neutral, but Larry says the neutral is fine. Nah, Larry, it's so hard to control neutral when you're against this guy. I mean, he, Larry's one of those players, like, he may not be PGR, but he took game KO to game, uh, MK to game five at yeah. Genesis for a reason. Oh, and he waited, yeah, he he's waited. pretty good. No bias, though, let's go Valadin. <laughs> feel like I'm talking a little bit too much about Larry, like yeah. I always do. <laughs> let's go, Valadin lives. At 127, but he can do this somewhere. Come on, Vlad. Somewhere on Pluto's chest is the tattoo that says "Go Larry." Damn it, <laughs> Larry won. <laughs>